Hello, this is Norma and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making a pineapple upside down cake. I have the pineapple right here. I'm going to be using some cherry. I have baking powder. I have salt. butter and that's unsalted butter. I will be using eggs some pure vanilla abstract I have some buttermilk sour cream granulated sugar and some all-purpose flour I'm using the King Arthur's but you can use any kind you want I have my butter my sour cream my buttermilk and my eggs at room temperature so don't get it out of the fridge and just start to use it. So let's start making this pineapple upside down cake. I'm going to be making a glaze for my pan. I have two thirds cup of light brown sugar. I'm going to put in this. And to that I'm going to add three tablespoons of unsalted butter. And I'm going to stir that together and let it melt. Okay, it's melted. I'm going to set that aside and we're going to move on to the baking pan. I have my baking pan right here and I'm going to take my Baker's Joy and shake it and spray it in my pan because you don't want your cake to stick in the pan now that I've done that the glaze that I made I'm going to put it in the bottom of the pan and make sure you spread it out now that I've done that now I'm going to drain the can of the pineapple slices now that that is done I'm going to take the pineapple and just put it in the bottom of the pan This is what the inside of the pan looks like. And I'm going to cut the other ones in two and put it around it. And I'm going to put that on the side. I'm moving on to the next step and just put the cherry right in the middle. I 
I've done that and I'm going to set it aside and we're going to start making the cake. I have a pan with my sifter. I'm going to put three cups of all-purpose flour. To that I'm going to add three teaspoons of baking powder. And make sure you level the spoon like this. That's three teaspoons baking powder. To that I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to sift it all together. I have it here and I'm going to set it aside. In my bowl, I'm going to add a stick of unsalted butter. To that, I'm adding two cups of granulated sugar. And now I'm going to beat it until it's light and fluffy. It's light and fluffy and as I was doing it I kept scraping the sides so make sure you do that and we're moving on to the next step now I'm gonna add one egg at a time but make sure don't overbeat just as it get incorporated you can just stop and add the other one I'm going to add the second one. I have five of them and this is the jumbo egg that I'm using. And when you're adding the eggs, make sure you scrape the sides. So I'm moving on to the next egg. And I'm going to do it all and I will be back. So now that it's beaten the eggs, all beaten up, I'm going to add two teaspoon of vanilla abstract and I'm going to mix that in this bowl I'm going to put half a cup buttermilk and half a cup of sour cream and mix that together. I've mixed it together. Then half a cup of sour cream and then half a cup of buttermilk. Now we're going to start incorporating that with the flour into the sugar and butter mixture. So at this point you don't want to over mix. So we're going to put some of the flour. We're going to do it in three batches. Some of the flour and the milk mixture. You can use your blender if you want, or you can use just a spatula. And I'm going to use a spatula. If you use your mixer, just make sure you don't over beat it because your kick will get hard. You just want to fold it in. And some more flour. And some of my buttermilk. I'm going to fold it in. I'm going to do it all and I will be back. Make sure the bottom of the pan is scraped well and on the sides. And now I'm going to transfer this into my baking pan. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. Front door closed. I've put it in a pan and I'm just going to flatten it out. And you have to get the bubbles out of the cake. So you can tap it on your countertop or you can hit it under 
several times get the bubbles out. So I'm going to hit it from the bottom. The cake is now ready to be put in my oven. When it's ready, I will be back. I kept the cake in the oven for 50 minutes. I took it out and I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes and I'm going to flip it over. And to know when your cake is done, you can use a toothpick or a little skewer like this and just stick it. And when it comes out clean, you know your cake is ready. I took it out of the pan. My pineapple upside down cake is ready. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button. So each time I upload, you will be notified. Bye-bye.